guys welcome back to my channel it's been a hot minute I have a great recipe for you guys today it's smothered green beans um, today I am starting on a cast iron skillet if you do not have a cast iron skillet I highly suggest getting one make sure it's seasoned and ready to go I just showed you the skillet and I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna start here with four slices of bacon. This is the Kirkland brand bacon. There are no carbs in this. I get this from Costco um, in a big pack. It's my favorite. I always have it in the house. And if you don't have you know, some kitchen shears, I highly suggest getting some because it makes life so much easier. So I'm taking the lazy way here and I'm just cutting up my slices of bacon. I actually took this right out of the freezer, um, defrosted it for a little bit, and then I stuck it right here in the pan. So I'm going to get this working in the cast iron. I didn't put anything down in the uh, pan itself. The bacon is going to give me all the grease I need. I've got two cans of cut green beans. I'm showing you here that it is two net carbs per half a cup of green beans. These are so keto friendly and so delicious. Now another green bean that I like is actually the Italian style. They're really big and flat. I love those. They're so good. Give them a try. Fun fact, I hate mechanical um, can openers and I really prefer the old fashioned ones because um, the mechanical ones just die all the time. So I'm going to get these opened. I also decided to slice up a couple of mushrooms. These were some really big button mushrooms that I got from Costco. The other things I'm going to add today are onion powder, garlic powder, paprika. If you have smoked paprika, that's even better. Salt, pepper, and Tony chacheries however you say it they have all different kinds of flavors out there or different ones but tony's has really good creole flavoring it's got a little bit of spice to it and it really gives this um, recipe a great kick um, if you get a little heavy-handed with it your green beans can be spicy and if you love spicy then go for it i have done it um, but not everybody loves it spicy in my house um, also as I'm showing you this recipe here, um, I actually did not come up with this. I, I got this and was inspired by Dat Keto Lady. She is an influencer on YouTube as well on, as Instagram. However, I was requested to make this since I keep showing it in all my pictures. So I just went ahead and threw this together for you guys. I think the only variable that I have is that I just am going to be adding mushrooms. Um, I don't do this every single time. I just had it in the fridge and they needed to be used. So as you saw here, I had some bacon. I got it working um, and I've gotten it to where it's pretty much cooked through. How, how much you want it cooked through is up to you. If you want it crispy, go ahead and let it get all the way crispy. But just keep in mind it's going to continue cooking for a little bit longer while the green beans are getting cooked through. So now I'm throwing on my seasonings. I'm not even going to tell you measurements because as you can see I'm not measuring at all. I like to eyeball it. Um, but I got in the Tony's first, the paprika. Now I'm throwing in a little bit of pepper, garlic powder, and the onion powder as I showed you earlier. Um, the salt, I actually added that at the end. I would wait until the end just because you've got the bacon and the bacon grease there. You're, you didn't drain it. So it has plenty of salt on its own. Um, but if it needs salt, wait until the end just to make sure um, everything's gotten a chance to work through and you don't end up with really salty green beans. So I'm just going to give this a really good stir. Get it all working. And I'm about to show you that I'm going to lower the heat. Oh, by the way, the, the, the bacon was like at a medium high. And so now I'm going to lower this down to just below medium. Um, you know, if you're working with a cast iron, the longer it's on, the you know, it really conducts a lot of heat. So lower that down. Make sure that you don't overcook them too fast. The, the thing is you want to do this nice and slow. If you have onions and you want to cut those up, I would go ahead and add them at, at the same time as you add in the green beans as well. 
I'm going to be adding in my mushrooms at the ends just because I don't want them to get all mushy. And right here I'm just showing you as I'm stirring around the green beans, there's plenty of oil at the bottom of the pan. So if you don't, if it looks dry, um, you want to add some butter. So I'm just showing you I've got plenty of stuff here moving from the bacon. That's what's keeping everything from sticking as well as having a really nice seasoned pan. Now I'm going to throw on the mushrooms. Yes, I am totally in my PJs uh, because it's quarantine and this is what I do with my life now. I'm on in the PJ train. <laughs> um, and uh, I went ahead and decided to go ahead and add a little bit of butter just because once I added the mushrooms, it was a little bit too dry. So I'm going to work this in now get everything all um, cooked down. I would say the whole process takes about 15 minutes, um, just mainly because the bacon takes a little bit to cook. Um, so this is a great side dish. Almost everybody in my family likes it, except for the two youngest because they don't like anything green right now. But, um, you know, we're definitely in the house trying to get back on track. We definitely fell off the wagon. In fact, the wagon backed up and ran over me. Um, from keto <laughs> during this quarantine time. I know plenty of other people can relate, so we are doing our best to get ourselves back on track. 